Alright guys, let's uh, take the vacuum bag off this thing and see what we have. If we can get it off. So this little connector just pops off of here. You can kind of see uh, right in here how the uh, it just kind of keys in and screws on there. You actually throw all this stuff away. This goes right in the trash can. I got a little bit of epoxy on there. It's okay though. You don't really want epoxy to get up in your vacuum fittings. It's a little bit of epoxy on there, it's okay though. All right, so this is the breather fabric. You can kind of see it's uh, been shaped by the epoxy. It's kind of stiff. You can see the epoxy there. It, it really did suck a lot of epoxy out of the part. Uh, there's actually a pretty pretty good possibility that the part might be too dry and that has to do with this uh, perforated plastic layer here so the perforated plastic it has holes in it to allow the epoxy to come through and there's different types of perforated plastic uh, that have you know more or less holes um, so if you're if your parts are getting too dry Oh, this is actually coming off easier than I thought. Oh, look at that. But if your parts are coming off too dry, then you have to uh, get a perforated plastic that doesn't have as many holes in it. This mold is terrible, by the way. Now the carbon looks really stuck to it. Ooh, I just cut myself pretty good. So with the perforated, or with the uh, peel ply, uh, this actually leaves a very, well it's not, it's not a super coarse um, finish on the carbon, on the inside of the carbon, or the peel ply side, uh, but it is, uh, the finish um, does have some roughness to it, and that allows uh, additional layers to be bonded into it. So now we'll see if we can get this out of here. It's looking pretty good so far. Receiving transmission from David I don't want to get any of these shards of fiber under my fingernails. I said, do you Ooh, it's the craziest 
It actually doesn't look too bad. There's a void void right here. Maybe a couple of them. There's some bubbles in here. The surface finish isn't terrible though, it still has the PVA on it, uh, so it's hard to tell exactly uh, what it's going to be like. The fabric definitely, this is three layers, so the fabric definitely uh, doesn't have as much resin in it, that's for sure. 